Hello everyone. As you have heard, the Lakehouse is the best data warehouse because it combines data warehouse's speed with the data lake's scale and flexibility. In this demo, I'm going to show you how data teams can use Databricks SQL, a serverless data warehouse on the Databricks Lakehouse platform, to analyze revenue trends for a large multinational company. First, let's look for revenue data for our analysis. Because the lake house may contain thousands of data objects such as tables or views, you can use Unity Catalog's built-in search capability to find relevant data across tables, queries, and dashboards. You will only see results for data that you have access to because Unity Catalog governs the entire lake house. So let's start by selecting revenue trends by country, which then opens up to the Data Explorer. The Data Explorer shows all catalogs, schemas, tables, and views you can access. Within the Data Explorer, you can see the structure of this object, such as the column name, the data type, and the comments. You can also preview sample data, visually inspecting the object's contents. You can also view metadata information and in this case, you can see it's a view definition. You can also grant or restrict access to users or groups, authorizing them to read or modify this data object. Or you can also manage access via a familiar SQL syntax. Lastly, Lineage shows you how data flows upstream or downstream within the data lake house. Here, you can see how revenue trends is derived or consumed by other tables, notebooks, workflows, or dashboards. Alternatively, a high fidelity lineage diagram displays the data flow graphically. You can traverse through this diagram and explore other data assets that can help you with your analysis. So for example, you could consider using the revenue forecast by priority table that's been derived from orders. Typically, you may need to augment data from multiple sources. To ingest data into the lake house, Databricks SQL allows you to add data from various natively integrated sources or be able to connect to your data with your preferred tools such as Fivetran. Let's go back to the Data Explorer. Now that you've understood the context around this data set, you can create a query or a quick dashboard. But let's take a look at table insights to see if there are any existing queries using the same table that can help speed up the analysis. Databricks SQL offers a full featured SQL editor that allows you to author, run, and schedule queries. As you can see, it's a familiar ANSI SQL statement, reading from multiple tables with specific criteria identifying total revenue by region. You can also modify this query that suits your needs. This query will be executed on a serverless SQL warehouse, which comes online in seconds and is optimized for high concurrency workloads with minimal management required and capacity optimizations that lower the overall cost. As the query executes, you can use the query profile to view the query execution details, which helps you troubleshoot performance bottlenecks during the query's execution by detailing each task's operation. When the query results return, and within the same editor, Databricks SQL gives you the ability to create visualizations. So for this query, Databricks SQL automatically suggests a visualization type, but you have the option to customize with out-of-the-box chart types. Now, SQL is great, but you may require additional functionality beyond what's expressible with SQL. With the introduction of Python UDFs, you can define custom functions in Databricks SQL using Python, which can be called as part of the SQL statements and queries. So for example, you may want to mask PII data, such as email, within a forecasting dataset. In another scenario, 
your data may reside in various enterprise production systems outside of the lake house. In this case, you can directly connect to multiple data sources using Query Federation, where you can configure read-only connections to a remote database with automatic and intelligent pushdown techniques for better performance. In this example, we are going to forecast future revenue for a specific region. Lastly, Databricks SQL supports materialized views to accelerate end-user queries and reduce infrastructure costs with efficient incremental computation. Here, we are going to create up-to-date aggregate views of order priority for use in BI and analytics without having to reprocess the full underlying tables, instead only updating when changes have come through. Now, many organizations have various BI tools like Tableau or Power BI. With Databricks SQL, you can seamlessly integrate your existing BI tools. So as we switch to Tableau, a data analyst can get instant access to the Lakehouse data with the same Databricks serverless SQL warehouse we've been using for this demo to gain further actionable insights in driving revenue. To summarize, You've seen how Databricks SQL, a serverless data warehouse, allows data teams to securely find, author, and run ad hoc queries on the Lakehouse platform, create rich out-of-the-box visualizations, and connect to your favorite BI tunes like Tableau to analyze revenue trends for a large multinational organization. Thank you.